Pretty much anyone that owns a Mini or a Mini 2 absolutely loves this little drone. And one of the biggest advantages is that at 249 grams, it ducks under the registration requirements for most countries. Sadly, that's changing throughout Europe and in the UK specifically. At the end of this year, new rules are coming in that mean if you don't register your Mini and do the right thing, you could face a fine of up to a thousand pounds. As you'd guess with new regulations, it's far from straightforward. So today I'm gonna to quickly outline what's changing and what you need to do. Hello, Ian here and a very quick video today outlining what you need to do if you are flying the Mini or the Mini 2 or you've got one for Christmas. Because until now, uh, the 249 gram weight of the Mini kept it under the radar for registration requirements in most countries. But uh, thanks to its high definition camera, the Mini now falls into a category that does require registration. And in true, true uh, bureaucratic style, the registration rules for the Mini are now different to almost every other type of drone. So look, just over a year ago, the UK Civil Aviation Authority made registration a legal requirement for anyone flying a drone over 250 grams anywhere in the, uh, the UK, including international visitors. Confusingly, they required two forms of registration, one for the flyer, the person holding the remote control, and one for the operator, which they define as the legal owner. So for all private hobbyists, this meant they had to have two registration IDs, as in most cases, you are the operator, the legal owner, and also the flyer, i.e. the person holding the remote control. Now, I've already done a video on the registration process, and I will put a link to that here, I think probably up there. It's actually quite straightforward. Uh, the operator ID costs £9 a year and lasts for one year. The flyer ID, as I said, is the person doing the actual flying, and it's free. It requires you to take a quick online test, and it now lasts for five years. It is all very straightforward, and to their credit, the registration website is pretty clear and explains everything very well. And again, I'll put a link to that below. So, if you own a Mini, what now? Well, crucially, the registration rules are all based on the drone you're flying, even though you register the person, not the drone. So until now, if you only flew the Mavic Mini or the Mini 2 or any other sub 250 gram drone, you didn't have to register at all. But from the 1st of January 2021, so a week or two's time, anyone flying a Mini or uh, the Mini 2 will have to register. Irrespective of whether your Mini has one of the new CE classification numbers or not, it now falls into the twilight zombie world of needing half registration. Because yes, to keep things nice and confused, Mini owners, they have to register as the operator, i.e. the legal owner, and pay the £9 a year fee, which you'll need to be renewed every year. For some reason though, flyers who are actually holding the remote control don't need to complete uh, the flyer ID registration if they're only flying the Mini. So it's a little ironic that it's the yearly fee that is now needed to own the Mini, but not the actual proof of skill. You really just couldn't make it up. Um, even better is the uh, hazy definition of whether or not it's a toy or not. Now, because the Mini has got the high definition camera, it can't really be classified as a toy. But if you look here, the CAA's definition of what a toy is, is mind-numbingly confusing. Uh, basically, if it looks like a toy and was sold as a toy and is called a toy, then it's probably a toy, unless it's not. Um, but look, for now, I'm focusing on the Mini and uh, what you actually have to do. And the bottom line is, if you are getting a Mini uh, for Christmas or you've got one already, then you need to go to this website now and register as an operator, pay your nine pound and display the ID on the drone itself when flying. Now, I should add that in my opinion, as it's free and lasts for five years, you may as well register and get your flyer ID at the same time as registering for an operator ID. That way you're at least gonna learn the basic rules and skills needed to fly a drone. It'll also cover you if you end up getting a heavier drone at any point in the future. And on that, heavier drone, the rules for heavier drones uh, are also changing and they're a bit more complex, so I'd have to cover them in a separate video. Today, I just wanted to focus on the Mini and the Mini 2, as at the moment, you don't need to register and from in a week or two's time, you will need to register. And if you don't, you'll get a thousand pound fine. So I would love to hear your thoughts on that. And I'm sure many of you will be smashing that keyboard as I speak. Um, keep it considerate, but do let me know what you think. 
of the uh, of the new rules and the like and um, either way uh, just get it done you've got a week 10 days or so to get it done um, it's not too long not too expensive and then you can rest easy anyway look as ever if you like this sort of stuff hit that little thumbs up for me hit the sub and ding the dong get notified when i put something new out either way i hope you're gonna uh, make the best of this christmas however you're spending it uh, main thing stay safe and healthy and until next time you have fun and happy flying